Good morning, YouTube. It is early Monday morning, 5.55 a.m. And no, I did not go and work on my laundry. I really should have. I said I was going to. Yeah, I just got distracted by other stuff. I've not been to sleep yet. I've been really fighting sleep like the last half hour, but it occurred to me that as long as I've stayed up, it would probably be in my best interest to go top off my gas tank right at 6 a.m. when Costco opens. Or should I say when the Costco gas station opens. Uh, Costco itself doesn't open until much later. figure it's the best to do it now while there's no wait and there's no traffic. I can just get in and out and go home and I should fall asleep pretty quickly. So I have been productive in spite of the fact that I didn't get any laundry done. I've been slowly, a little bit here and there, digging into that huge laser disc collection that I bought I can't remember if it was at the beginning of this year, maybe late at the end of last year, but I bought a huge laser disc collection from some people who live up around like Cave Creek and Cactus. When I first got it, I was kind of going through it, and, and then for quite some time, I've just been way too wrapped up in work, or my place has just been so messy, I haven't felt like watching movies, but I've been kind of working on cleaning up the living room. And I watched a really, really interesting laser disc out of the collection after I got home from work. All right, this feels completely like deja vu right now. It's 7.03 a.m. I should really be in bed and asleep. I have to be to work at 2 p.m. And I really need to be there at 2 p.m. too because I have at least one, maybe two new people I'm supposed to train today on how to do maintenance at night. So I got to Costco and tried to top off my gas tank and it declined my card. And yeah, that was an hour ago. It's been quite an ordeal trying to get everything situated. And granted, I could have just used the Costco card to identify myself as a member. And then swiped a different card. But then, of course, I don't get my rewards for using my Costco card at Costco. I got it handled, but holy crap, was it an ordeal. I don't even have time to explain everything I went through. I was actually using to handle it. <laughs> I don't think I could have done it on one phone. I, at one point, was using Obama Phone 3, Obama Phone 5, and my iPhone all at once to resolve this. People think I'm crazy for having so many phones, but sometimes I need two apps open on two different phones full screen while I'm able to talk on another one, which is exactly what I was doing. I had the Citibank app open on one, I had the Wells Fargo Bank app open on the other one, and I had a Wells Fargo representative in my ear. Well, actually, it wasn't in my ear because I needed my hands free to operate the other two phones, so I had Wells Fargo on Obama phone 5 on speakerphone. I'm gonna go get my gas. Oh my God, I hope it works. All right, the uh, gas tank is topped off, and I did it with the Costco card. And I think the payment that I did today counts as my payment that is due on October 8th. So I don't have that due on October 8th. Pretty sure it counts as that. The downside is I was not really planning on that expense between now and the end of the month. So my money situation got all that much tighter on paying things like rent and um, well, <laughs> I was hoping to get insurance, but that's <laughs> yeah, it's not happening. 
Oh God, so 11.573 gallons. Oh yeah, I was on fumes. I, and I knew I was on fumes. I was so nervous when I went back home to try to resolve the banking situation. I was gonna run out of gas. But I mean, it, allegedly this car is an 11 gallon tank. So there you go. Four, 465 a gallon came out to 53.92. You know, a tank of gas and a Saturn never used to be a major purchase. Back when I was married, I had my Saturn SL2, which as I recall also had an 11 gallon tank. I never gave any thought to what I paid for, for gas, because it was, unless we were doing a lot of trips back and forth to Phoenix, which actually we did quite a bit. But for the most part, I never really thought too much about buying gas, because a tank of gas was less than 20 bucks. Seems like it was more like 15. It just never seemed like much, but now, damn. I don't know how these guys that drive the big killing machine trucks even afford that shit. Anyway, I'm ready to go to bed. I'm absolutely exhausted. But hey, now I've got a new password for my Wells Fargo banking, which is the password I kept trying to type in. I kept getting it wrong because I was, I don't know. I get so confused on that shit. Is using the same password for everything. It's just a recipe for disaster. So I don't do that. But I got, uh, I got that, and and now I've got banking info in the Citibank app, so I can be a little more useful in the Citibank app. And I got the Citibank app on my iPhone. I'm never having enough space to export videos and now there's that much less space but you know deal with that or offload it hopefully when I if I do the offloading thing it doesn't doesn't take up too much space with just data anyway thanks for coming with me on this uh, random extra drive in the morning and uh, well I hope I wake up on time for for work. Speaking of work, yeah, interesting developments with my so-called job at HelloFresh, and I don't have time to talk about it right now, but hopefully I remember to talk about that on the next vlog. If I don't, feel free to ask him. <laughs> in the comments section and maybe I'll explain it then. Of course, by the time I get this posted, it's probably going to be like over two months old and it won't even be relevant anymore.